Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Here's the deal. I get requests for video topic ideas, not just daily, but sometimes hourly. It's kind of cool, kind of crazy. And when I get these requests, sometimes they're like pretty good ideas, you know? Sometimes I'm thinking to myself like, okay, like that's, that's fun. And, uh, and sometimes it's not so much. Sometimes I think that's, that's not worth the video. This video is my most requested video topic in the 2023 calendar year. And I still don't know if I understand fully the need to the level that some of you are at. Like I talked to somebody last week that literally said that they had like 14 gold, not 14 thousand gold, not even 1400 gold, 14 total gold. I, I never saw a picture verification, so I don't know if that's true, but that's what they claim to be true. That blows my mind. That is freaking wild. And yet we have such a gold issue in this game that like, I know the counter arguments because you can be like me. You can somehow have enough time to be an arena loser. And I say loser with some self-esteem, but I know I spend more time every three days in the arena than I do getting one night's worth of rest. I'll probably get an average of five hours if I'm lucky sleeping and I'll spend seven to eight every three days in the arena. And I'm not even going for a champion. I'm just getting all the milestones and trying to get the top 5% milestone for each arena. So yeah, I've built up a plethora of gold. And yes, that's the best way to do it. Uh, I guess I should sell some of these soon. Um, sometimes I look down and I'm like, oh. Um, and yes, most of my gold comes from selling ISO because I just sell it in batches of 10 days and look at how much ISO I sell every 10 days. Um, it's also worth noting that because I do the seven hour events, except sometimes uh, a combination of event quest completion or trying for the level up, which takes like 150, 200,000 points to get the top 10%. But because of that, mainly, I have so much gold that I haven't even opened yet. I don't even know what keeps me from opening these crystals. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, let's just open them. 334 uncollected golden crystals. That's millions of gold unopened. 366 golden crystals, millions of gold. And then, of course, you want to talk about hoarding for gold. I have perfectly, right now, 5,500 arena crystals in reserve for when I really need to go after, say, some rank four materials. And that, there's no telling how much gold that could be. Literally, maybe 50 million gold in that. I'm not saying this to flex. I'm saying that this is an arena crystal situation because I do the arena. But so many people don't do the arena. And we now know, even though we can't purchase them yet, that seven stars are on their way to the game. And you better believe Kabam is going to milk the whales and even guppies for gold in seven star rank ups. That has been the pattern since four stars came in the game, and then of course five stars and six stars. While that's the case, Kabam doesn't offer gold in terms of an average bundle even as much as they used to. You look at a offer like this, like, cool. Like, I've seen people get six-star Wolverine from this. I've seen people get six-star Deadpool from this. Didn't even know that was a thing. Same with uh, Cavalier Nexus Pack. But you don't have gold in these. So, the way, the way that the economy is, yes, ISO is needed too, but... Kabam has made it to where it's way easier to get the champion that you want, obviously on July 4th and Cyber Weekend with Wish Crystals, or their version of Wish Crystals, which apparently weren't even going to be as good as we thought they were, uh, than it is to actually have the gold to rank up champions or resources. Resources, I still think, are somewhat uh, doable as well. So, Kabam needs to think about this. And I did have a suggestion for a better Halls of Gold that was accessible to the Black ISO store summoners. I know that creates a huge controversy because it literally is pay to win, but it does 
help people in a way that's better than this golden circle. And yet, I don't know. I don't know what the solution is. I do think that when you duplicate champions, you should get way more gold than they give you. They're giving you pennies on the dollar, and that should be dollars. So, there's a gold crisis right now in the game. There are solutions for it, but it's it's manufactured. Kabam knows that this is the case. It used to be targeting a specific champion, and it's still the case when they're new, but targeting a specific champion would be the hardest. Over time, if you spend enough money, you're going to get the champion from last year, at least, that you won. Or unless you spend all the money and get somebody like Weapon X as a guarantee when you buy up all the offers. But that's, um, that's the situation, YouTube. Gold crisis. Let me know what you think in the uh, comments below. Thanks for watching.